I'm Christine from Pack Hacker. In this video, we're taking a look at the Troubadour Goods Ember Backpack, which I've been testing for two weeks. If you find this video helpful, hit subscribe so we can keep bringing you content to help you travel smarter. Let's dive in. The 13 liter Ember backpack is made with recycled polyester that's also water resistant, which is great. We've got some vegan leather accents here that you can see around the bag. And we've also got, there's the Troubadour logo here on the front and I've got the, the gold metallic accents here. And then also we've got Troubadour here on the back panel, along the air channel and on the shoulder straps. So you're never really gonna forget, you know, who made the bag you're carrying, but it's subtle and, and it looks, you know, goes with the aesthetic of the bag. The zippers are unbranded, although they also say Troubadour on each of them. So I guess they're Troubadour branded. They work well though. They, I haven't had any issues with functionality. And if, um, you know, flashiness isn't your thing, there is one colorway called blackout that's just black everything. So that's a little more subtle and minimalist if, you know, you don't like the metallic zippers and, and logo. So that's nice. Um, along with, it's a backpack so we can carry it with uh, shoulder straps obviously, but along with that, we have this really wide carry handle that you can see on the underside has this neoprene lining, which it just sort of depends on how you feel, whether you like the feel of that or not, but it does definitely provide a non-slip grip. So if you hang this up, it's not falling off. It's not slipping off of anything. That's great. And then we do also have a luggage pass through here. You can see um, it, it really blends in if you're not using it, but otherwise, it's really nice and wide, functions very well if you need to use it. The harness system on the Ember is pretty basic. The, we've got shoulder straps here that are lined with, um, they've got some breathable mesh here and they've got a nice padding. It's dense and just very comfortable. The mesh itself is a very tight weave. It's almost like, like a women's swimsuit or like spandexy material, which is great. It's super soft, but it does hang on to pet hair a bit, at which, and it tends to, the pet hair tends to like work its way in instead of just brushing easily off. Um, so keep that in mind if you have animals you might be wearing them a bit with this bag or your bag might be wearing them a bit. But uh, that happens to the best of us, right? So um, the back panel here, we have more of this cushy padding with the same mesh and then there's an air channel for a little reduce the sweaty back a bit. Um, it all works really well and it's really comfortable. You can adjust the shoulder straps with these Duraflex slides and then there's a strap keeper here to hang on to the excess. You still have a little bit of a loop, but at least you don't have a tail, so that's really great. And then you'll see there are rails here where you could attach an additional chest strap if you needed extra support, but that is sold separately. The Ember backpack has a sleek, professional style that it fits in well in cities or you know, museums, and even, even the office. You can wear it from work to weekend, take it as a personal item bag, and it doesn't stick out very far, so you're gonna fit nice tight places, whether that's a, you know, a rush hour subway car or the, the, ter the terminal shuttle between airport terminals. You're, gonna, you're not gonna bump into a lot of people, so that's really nice. And it's, it's really very comfortable thanks to all that um, padding. You, if you got a, your computer in here, you'll, you'll feel like the stiffness a bit, but it's not uncomfortable. You just sort of know your computer's there. It's good, then you, don't, then you realize you didn't forget it at home, which I always actually like. Let's take a look at all the secondary compartments around the Ember. Starting here with the back side, you wouldn't know it, but there's actually a hidden pocket here. It's got a little magnetic closure, which is great to hold it tight. And we've got about like a four and a half inch opening here. 
So Troubadour shows this as being meant for a phone, which you can see I have slid my iPhone in there. And it's really great because it's big enough. It goes all the way down to here where the luggage pass through is. So you'd think, great, I can fit a giant phone in here. That's awesome. And it is nice that you can fit a giant phone in here. And the problem though becomes trying to get your phone back out. This, it, it does not pull out very far. And so wedging your hand in there, if you had a larger hand um, or like I do a lot, oh, you can even see, um, you know, if you have a smaller phone or a larger hand or gloves, it becomes really hard to pull this out. So what I do think it would be useful for, because I did not prefer keeping my phone there just because it was so hard to get out. If you are traveling internationally and you are carrying your passport, a passport also fits there. And then if you figure it's a little secure, it's a little hidden, and that's not something you're gonna need to get out constantly. Like you're gonna have it out, go through customs, show them, and then you're gonna put it away and you can kind of just leave it there. So that might be a better use of that pocket for you. Or maybe you get a little better coordinated than I am at getting into that pocket, but just realize that it is a bit hard to get into. Switching around here to the front, we have one um, pocket, one front pocket here. It goes down, I don't know, about eight inches or so. And it's just a, a dump pocket for just your you know, daily necessities. You could toss your phone in here, your wallet. There's a key leash with this nice swivel clip. So that's great to, uh, to have in there. It's really easy to access. We've got these nice big zipper pulls on all the zippers. So that's awesome. Then flipping back around, this back zipper here is the laptop compartment. And it's just got one zipper, you open it up, and now this back panel is lined, it's really soft, it's, it's got this microfiber lining, we've got the Troubadour logo here, and they say that you can fit a 16 inch device in here. And you can, except I do have to say, so this is my 13 inch laptop, and you'll see I have, I have a lot of room. We've got the pocket here, and there's actually a secondary pocket here, they're both very lightly padded, but I have to say, like, if you were to put a 16 inch device, we've got these 3D printed ones, it does fit there, but then you can see, like, I'm gonna hit the corners with the zipper when you try to go over. Now, what you can do if you had a bigger computer is just don't put it in, ah, which is easier said than done. Don't put it in the pocket and then it goes down a little more and then you could do you could fit your larger device there, but you might want to try that out if you use a larger device. Let's get into the main compartment. Now, I do have to point out that it is very hard to make this top not sag in, and I'm not quite sure why. There's just nothing really up there in the main compartment, so it doesn't look that bad, but it's just something to deal with. Um, then, Getting into the main compartment, the zippers go further down than the laptop zipper. You can see it's, we got another like five inches here on each side, which is really great because then you can just totally open this up and you can see my book. You can see everything I'm carrying, which is really awesome if when you're trying to find some things. So let's start on the front here because there's quite a bit of organization. We've got a really large zippered mesh pocket for, you know, basically whatever. I've got some a mask and some pills there, whatever. Just It's just nice to contain like AirPods or little things that you don't want falling to the bottom, right? So then let us pull these things out. But that's just to sort of show you that you have extra space in addition to all these pockets. There's still space to, to fit other things in. So now we've got there's like a plethora of pockets here. We've got this back one, which is good. It, you know, if you had, gosh, another device, you could really slide a tablet in there. It's a great size for a wireless keyboard. We've got a very large 
pocket here if you wanted to put more tech accessories and zip them up, dongles, USB B hubs, you know, SD cards. They're not gonna fall all the way to the bottom. So that's really nice. And then we just have some more slip pockets here, along with on the side, there's one pen pocket. And then this front pocket with the Troubadour logo, it's a little stretchy, but it is the perfect size for, you can fit a wallet there, or I've got a mouse. So it's kind of nice if this is gonna be, you know, what you carry to the office all the time. You can carry basically your whole tech kit here without an additional tech kit. However, if you do like an additional tech kit, that also fits in there. You could put it in, in the big pocket, just up here in front, it all fits nicely. Now, what you may have noticed missing, there's no water bottle pockets on this thing. So, that may or may not be an issue for you if you know it does it makes it look nice on the outside because we don't have bottles protruding but then it's kind of annoying if you like to carry water with you all the time you can fit and i have been carrying my hydro flask in here very easily it just goes right there and then you can put your tech kit back there you can put your book right here and it all fits just make sure it's a water bottle you trust since it's gonna be inside next to everything. Um, obviously, I use a Hydro Flask on a daily basis. I've not had any issues or I wouldn't be putting it next to a book, but I wouldn't be putting a water bottle in here that I didn't trust or that had a pop open top or something like that because it could get all over everything if you're doing that. But then, as you can see, zip it up. We still have a little bit of concave here, even though I just stuffed this thing full. So just realize maybe if you put a packable jacket or something up here or a packing cube, you could fill out that, that space. But on a daily basis, I don't know how much you'd be doing that. So there you have it, the Troubadour Goods Ember Backpack. Thanks for keeping it here at Backhacker, your guide to smarter travel, and we'll see you in the next one.